Hello. Um, I thought I'd share with you something that I got on my blog today. It was a question from a reader who says something cryptic like, what if you have no money? And at first glance, it goes, whoa. Uh, there is actually only one really simple answer to that question. And it is find a way to make more. And I'm going to expand on that. The question in itself shows that the person is in a fairly low energy state because by the time you have the ability to use a computer to post the question, you do have the ability to go and do something that will earn you money. Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of people who are in victim mode. I don't have as much as the next person. Poor me. That is not going to get you very far. And you will notice that there are a lot of stories from people who started out really poor and managed to become multimillionaires. How did they do it? It was not sitting around waiting for a handout or waiting for a loan which they were not going to repay or an inheritance or winning the lottery. In fact, as you know, the statistics for the lottery are pretty abysmal. After about a year, the vast majority of lottery people are actually poorer than they started out. So what is important for everybody is what your own consciousness and your own mindset was prior to winning the lottery. Money just makes you more of who you already are. If you are not a nice person, you're going to be a rich, not a nice person. If you are a very nice person, you are going to be a rich, nice person. Money doesn't fundamentally change your values. So you have to determine what your values are to start off with. But back to the question, what happens if you don't have any money? That is what entrepreneurs and wealthy people do. They figure out how to earn money. And there is always a skill or a product that you can sell or market to get more value. If that means, you see, there is no such thing as truly, truly, truly get rich quick. You move from having nothing to a million dollars in a month. I don't know why people think it's that way, but it isn't. Like any tree that's growing, it takes time. You water the plant, you plant the seed, and it's not going to become a tree tomorrow. Not even next month. It's going to take a period of growth. Same thing with wealth. But if you have the right consciousness, as sure as night follows day, you will accumulate more money and you can convert more money and your assets into wealth if you do it properly. As I said in a previous lesson, you spend more than you earn equals misery because you are never going to be rich, forget wealthy. How do you go about getting more money? Well, look around you. A lot of people are comparing themselves to the Joneses and want to say, well, I'm not going to do that. Anybody who wants to get to a goal and where the goal is meaningful is going to do whatever it takes as long as it's legal, ethical, or moral to earn some money. Money is a storehouse of value. So if you don't have any, it probably means you're not delivering as much value as you should. Think of ways in which you can deliver a service that will bring in more money, or you can sell a product that you maybe create that will bring in money. But don't, please don't sit in that consciousness expecting other people to make you rich. It cannot happen. Richness comes from within. It comes from inside of you. It comes from your mindset. So take yourself up and say, what can I do? What value can I offer somebody in the form of a service or a product that will bring in some money? Because if you offer value, they will pay you with money. Look at it that way. If you give them a valuable service or product, the reward is money. So if you look around and say, what can I do? For teenagers and even adults, it could be something special to your neighbor, mowing the neighbor's lawn, uh, clearing out the trash, something that's a valuable service that somebody will pay you for. You start from small things and you move to big things. But expecting to be the CEO of a corporation just because you feel that you deserve it is not going to happen. Okay, so the short answer again is find something that will you could find something of value that you can offer that will attract some money and there is always something almost anybody in a developed country can do to do this okay on that note thank you for your time and i hope this was useful 
Make sure, if you haven't already done so, to subscribe to my newsletter because that is where all the special offers are. And if you have any comments on this issue and you have any other ideas, I would like to hear it. Bye now.